The protocol for our recommended extraction method can be found on our website under resources. It is called the steroid solid extraction protocol. To extract steroids from non-liquid matrices such as dried solids, we recommend an organic phase extraction. Once the solid sample is collected, it can be handled in one of two ways. Ideally, your sample should be dried to remove water weight. This can be done either in an oven at 50 degrees centigrade or freeze dried in a lyophilizer. You can determine if you have fully dried your sample by measuring the weight of the sample at the start of the drying process and during the process to completion. When the measured weight no longer decreases with further drying, you can be assured your sample is fully dried. Once the sample is dried, powder the sample by crushing or using a mortar and pestle and remove any large particles, such as grass, if possible. This will improve the extraction efficiency. If you are gathering samples over time, the dried sample makes an excellent stopping point. The stability of the steroid in the dried sample is very good and will not change. Just store dried samples at minus 20 degrees centigrade under desiccation if possible. If you are unable to dry your sample, you will need to report the concentration of steroid per wet weight of sample. It also cannot be stored long term. Short term storage can be done by placing wet samples in refrigeration or by freezing them. Weigh out the fecal material into a tube. We recommend greater than 200 milligrams of dried solid. Add one mil of ethanol or ethyl acetate for every 100 milligrams of solid. Note this puts your fecal yield at 100 milligrams of solid per mil of solvent. We recommend use of ethanol or ethyl acetate as safer alternatives to diethyl ether or methylene chloride. Shake samples vigorously for at least 30 minutes or rotate overnight at room temperature. Centrifuge samples to pellet the solids. This can be done at 5000 RPM for samples less than 5 mils or at 1000 RPM for larger volumes. Carefully transfer the organic supernatant to a clean sealable tube. Note this can be a stopping point Simply seal your organic supernatant samples and place them at minus 20 degrees centigrade. Ethanol supernatants can be evaluated directly in the steroid assay kit. Refer to the kit manual to ensure the minimum dilution is carried out to reduce any interference from the organic solvent. Typically, this is less than or equal to 5%. To measure the steroid content from a dried down sample, first transfer a measured volume of the organic supernatant to a clean tube for evaporation. Evaporate the solution to dryness in a centrifugal vacuum device such as a speed vac or under nitrogen. Note, this evaporated extracted sample can be stored frozen at minus 20 in a desiccator. Dissolve the evaporated sample in 100 microliters of ethanol, 
followed by at least 400 microliters of diluted kit assay buffer. This yields a 20% ethanolic solution. Dissolving the dried sample in ethanol first allows complete solubilization of the steroids. Some steroids have limited aqueous solubility. Further dilute the ethanol assay buffer mixture with assay buffer as recommended in the kit manual. Diluted reconstituted samples should be assayed immediately according to the kit manual directions. To calculate the amount of steroid in the fecal sample, you will need five pieces of information. The measured concentration of steroid in the assay. The dilution factor of the reconstituted sample. The reconstitution volume, 0.5 ml in this protocol. The transfer volume of organic supernatant and the fecal concentration in ethanol, 100 milligrams of fecal material per mil of ethanol if you follow this protocol. Multiply the measured concentration of steroid by the dilution factor. This is the concentration of steroid in your reconstituted sample. Multiply the concentration of reconstituted sample by the reconstitution volume. This is the amount of steroid you transferred and then dried down through evaporation. Divide the amount of steroid you transferred by the transfer volume. This is the concentration of steroid in your initial fecal extraction. Divide the concentration of steroid by the fecal concentration. This is the final amount of steroid per weight of feces, dry or wet.